financial management cost of capital this is 186th module of this course and from here we are starting a new discussion which is related to the cost of capital capital is a term which is used commonly in accounting and finance initially when we talk about the basic financial accounting the term capital refers to the investment of the owners of the business lekin ye term capital finance mein aur financial management ke andar use hoti hai kuch different tarike se here the capital is the amount which is invested by all the people who want to earn some return from the business that is in capital we have equity and we also have debt equity in simple words is the investment of owners in a business and when we are talking about a corporation a limited company or a public limited company here we have got equity capital issued in the form of the shares of the company so when we issue the shares as a company to the individuals then they become equity holders and the funds that they provide is called the equity capital similarly business organizations or corporations also generate funds or finances by issuing debt or by taking loans debt can be issued to the general public in the form of what is called bonds or debentures or it can be in the form of a loan taken from a bank or a financial institution so these two are combinedly called the external types of capital that is capital which is generated externally here it is very important to remember that when we use the term internal or external it is with reference to that business organization ye us company us corporation ke reference se hai yani wo log jo shareholders hain jo equity provide karte hain wo bhi us company ya business se bahar hain aur wo log jo loan dete hain ya debt provide karte hain wo bhi us company se bahar hain and that is why whatever funds they provide we call it external capital so in external capital we have debt and equity we also have some internal sources of capital which we'll discuss later but that is the profit generated by the company itself now why would anybody provide funds or finances to any business organization it is because they require some return from that business and that return is to be seen from two different angles from the businesses or the corporations perspective this is a cost this is what the business has to pay to the equity holders jinko hum shareholders kehte hain and to the bond holders jinko hum debt ya loan ki shakal mein kehte hain in dono ko company ne return पे करना है जो कि कंपनी के लिए एक कॉस्ट है एक एक्सपेंस है लेकिन अगर इसी चीज को हम उन इन्वेस्टर्स यानी शेयर होल्डर्स और बॉन्ड होल्डर्स के पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू से देखें तो उनके लिए ये रिटर्न है तो अगर हम इसका जायजा लें तो हम एक तरफ से देखते हैं तो ये कॉस्ट है यानी कंपनी के लिए कॉस्ट है और शेयर होल्डर्स के लिए ये रिटर्न है और बॉन्ड होल्डर्स के लिए ये रिटर्न है लेकिन कंपनी के लिए कॉस्ट है शेयर होल्डर्स या बॉन्ड होल्डर्स अपना रिक्वायर्ड रेट ऑफ रिटर्न डिटरमिन करते हैं जो कंपनी के लिए कॉस्ट ऑफ कैपिटल कहलाता है आइए देखते हैं कि ये क्या क्या होता है सबसे पहले मार्केट रेट ऑफ रिटर्न यानी जो मार्केट के अंदर ऑन एवरेज रिटर्न किसी इन्वेस्टर को मिल रहा है वही उसका रिक्वायर्ड रेट ऑफ रिटर्न हो सकता है 
and this is the easiest and the common way to calculate the required rate of return and remember as I said earlier this is what becomes the cost of capital for the company. The second way may be the opportunity cost of capital of funds. Yani mere paas, as an individual agar kisi jagah par paisa invest karne ki ek aisi opportunity hai jo mujhe market rate of return se zyada aan karke de sakti hai to mera required rate of return market rate of return se bad jayega it is because of my opportunity cost and similarly there are other ways of calculating this required rate of return for example we may consider the past returns earned by the company or the business pichle aane pichle jo saal guzre hain un financial years mein kitna profit kitna return mila shareholders ko bond holders ko that may be a criteria aur isi tarike se agar hum ye dekhe ki is industry ya is sector ke andar yani agar cement hai ya textile hai ya chemical industry hai to is industry mein on average kya rate of return milta hai usko bhi benchmark banaya ja sakta hai to hum ye keh sakte hain ki required rate of return ya market rate hoga ya uske piche koi opportunity cost hogi ya industry ki koi average ya company ka past record hoga so this required rate of return is then treated as the cost of capital for the company that is the company has to generate this much amount of return for their fund providers for their capital holders to satisfy them so that they keep their investment in the company now let's have a look at the cost of capital in a little more detail this cost of capital as we have discussed is related to equity and debt so we have number 1 the cost of equity equity is common share or you may include the preferred shares in that now the return to the common shareholders is determined by considering the price that they are paying to buy those shares and the dividend or the profit which the company is paying to the shareholders which determines that how much return they are getting from that so cost of equity determine karte waqt hum original shares ki issue price ko consider nahi karte this is an important point that students should remember that we do take the current market price uski kya wajah hai yani अगर एक शेयर सपोज कीजिए आज से पाँच साल पहले दस रुपए का इशू हुआ था और अब वो शेयर पचास रुपए का हो गया है तो हम उसको आज की प्राइस पर कंसिडर करेंगे ऐसा क्यों है इसलिए कि शेयर होल्डर्स के लिए रिटर्न उस पैसे के ऊपर उस अमाउंट के ऊपर मैटर करता है जो उनकी इन्वेस्टमेंट की आज की वैल्यू है that is 50 rupees per share and not 10 rupees which was the par original value so this is how we'll calculate the cost of equity same is for the preferred shares that we'll talk about in detail later and the other part of the discussion is the cost of debt the debt is generally termed as fixed return or fixed income capital or fixed cost of capital is there in case of debt although it is not true in all the cases but in most of the cases it is correct yani debt ki jo cost hai wo bhi constant rehti hai agar hum isko issue price se relate kare if we are talking about bonds or debentures or debt securities which are traded in the open market yani jo stock exchange mein trade hoti hain तो फिर वहां पर भी हमें एक्विटी या शेयर्स की तरह ही इन डेट सिक्योरिटीज की मार्केट वैल्यू के साथ उस रिटर्न को रिलेट करना है जो हम डेट के ऊपर पे करते हैं एंड इन केस ऑफ डेट्स दिस रिटर्न इज द इंटरेस्ट दैट इज पेड ऑन बॉन्ड्स एंड डिबेंचर्स एंड लोन्स 
So we conclude our basic initial discussion on cost of capital by saying that capital, which is mainly the external capital, comprises of equity and debt. And the cost of equity and the cost of debt are to be separately calculated. And mainly, these costs are calculated by considering their market values or market prices. And on one side, for the investors, this is their required rate of return. And on the other side, for the company, it is their cost of capital.